Greetings. We are Team Seijitsu from Kobe City University of Falling Studies. My name is Nina. This is Akane, Haruka, and Taiga. For our presentation, we will propose a brand new sustainable model for potential young investors. Before introducing the outline of our proposal, let's begin by discussing the current situation within Japan. Currently, our social security has become greatly strained due to the increased burden from the aging society. Especially us in younger generation, we must become more aware of the yearly decline in the public pension and come to realize that we cannot only rely on the system in the future. Surely, we will need target date fund to ensure our future private pensions. However, this is not well known amongst our generation. According to a survey by Investment Trust Association of Japan, only a small number of young adults have a current experience with investments. Why is that? There are three main reasons for this. First, they simply do not have enough money to invest to begin with. Secondly, they have a negative image towards investing. According to a 2018 survey by Fidelity Japan, more than half of those in their 20s think that investing is risky, gambling, a loss, or scary. We strongly believe that these fears come from the third reason, which is their lack of knowledge and awareness for investing. However, we can do something about this. While over half of these young adults have a negative image towards investing, roughly 40% of them find the prospect of investing to be positive, enjoyable, earning, and fruitful. And this is yet higher than any generations from the previous survey in 2010. So now is the time to act. So now is the time to act. Even if they lack the means to become investors now, with the impending fate of the public pension system, they will need to become investors in the future. So why don't we provide financial education and financial literacy to these potential young customers? With this idea in mind, we have come up with this sustainable model. This is the outline of our proposal. We will explain about our aim, our target, the content of our plan, and the budget. Akane will now introduce our aim and our target. Thank you, Nina. Our plan consists of two fold approach an online approach and offline approach. Our aim for both of these methods is to gain trust. Our target will be undergraduate and graduate students from universities throughout Tokyo. We want to attract students who are passionate about their future careers and future lives. So why Tokyo? There are three reasons. Firstly, Tokyo has by far the highest number of university students in Japan. Therefore, the highest number of future investors. Secondly, many student organized events are held throughout the region. These events will be important for reaching and attracting our target demographic. Lastly, if we focus our effort on one region with a specific target audience, we can expect better initial result that will develop into a strong foothold within the biggest potential market in Japan. With the success of our plan, we'll eventually spread this idea to other regions 
in Japan. Now, Taiga will talk about our online approach. Thank you, Akane. I will explain our online approach. For online approach, we would create Fidelity Plus, which will become the official app for Fidelity Japan. Fidelity already has a website that is both PC and mobile friendly. However, providing an app will have a greater impact on attracting not only our target clients, but also other potential investors too. Let me tell you why. Japan is a mobile nation. Everyone has power of the internet within reach at all times. But only being connected with a website isn't enough. Nowadays, people want apps. In fact, data shows that people use apps eight times, times more often than browsers on their devices. In addition, according to a survey conducted by Cruise Group, the number of pages visitors view when using an app instead of browser is greatly increased by 470%. More importantly, the app will enable us to have many informative tools, such as, number one, chat services with investment experts anywhere, anytime. Number two, push notifications to give instant alerts about their investment. Number three, constant presence and the easy access for our clients to help make them wise investors. Additionally, Fidelity website has many informative tools such as Cloud Fidelity and learning videos. I love it. Upon its creation, it will be easier to connect with our target clients and gain their trust by empowering them with the app Fidelity Plus. Next, Haruka will explain what our offline approach is. Thank you, Taiga. I will explain about our offline approach. Our offline approach is focusing on building connection with clients and gaining their trust. With deep trust, people will choose Fidelity over other financial companies. With the online approach, it is impossible to gain the personal trust with our clients to ensure the growth of Fidelity in Japan. We want to create the image that Fidelity is personal, informative, helpful, secure, and trustworthy. We will do this with the offline approach. Therefore, we have come up with the idea to collaborate with and become a sponsor of Shiru Cafe. Shiru Cafe is a cafe founded for university students and it already has 130 sponsors. Currently, there are 29 shops in Japan and five of them in Tokyo. All located near universities and, we already ha uh, and they have more than 2,500 users every day. Moreover, they even offer free drink to customers who have installed the Shiru Cafe app. Shiru Cafe offers Zadan Kai space for its sponsors in order for them to host events to connect with students. It is face-to-face, -face, casual, and informative. The satisfaction level among students is over 93%. How the Zadankai work at Shiru Cafe is simple. Its seminar is 60 minutes long and can be held at each Shiru Cafe six times per day. With five shops in Tokyo and five students per seminar, we can connect and build trust with 150 new potential clients each and every day. Also, 
It is much more reasonable to advertise fidelity at Shiga Cafe. You are able to put out brochures, air TV commercials, and they will even inform their customers of fidelity events and fidelity plus app through their SNS. Lastly, Akane will explain how to introduce our campaign and to approach the students who are not Shiga Cafe members. Thank you, Haruka. To strongly encourage young adults to start investing, we also offer workshop campaign. After the Zadankai, students will be able to sign up for the workshop where they can create an investment trust account with the support of Fidelity staff. After they participate in the workshop and they invest more than 50,000 yen within the first year, they will be rewarded 2,000 yen directly into their investment trust account. Additionally, we also collaborate with University Corp to help advertise both Fidelity Plus application and Shield Cafe. Although Shield Cafe is already popular, there are some students who have never been there. So, for those students, we'd like to create this advertisement and at university cafeterias like this. We'll put a poster on university cafeteria tourists so that everyone can see them. Lastly, this is a, a budget of this plan. The estimated total of this plan is 28.5 million yen. It is critical to approach these potential young clients now to remove their fears and establish their trust. Our plan will surely give strong encouragement and impact on young adults to become your future clients. Thank you for listening. Now we'll have questions from judges. Thank you very much for your interesting presentation. Uh, I have a question to you about the app that you proposed uh, in your presentation. Um, in my mind, uh, you mentioned that the three main points of the app would be chat, uh, push notifications, and having a constant presence on your phone. How does this really connect to TDF? Does a TDF really need an app? For example, what kind of push notifications would you get? What kind of chat would I need to do to talk about TDF? Please explain the specific uses of creating an app for TDF. Thank you for your, thank you for your question. Like as uh, the chat service, we can ask the fidelity staff to whether like which uh, TDF fund is much suitable for the customers, and also like after the. Uh, the customer started as TDF, if they have notification, uh, they will, we are sure that they will check uh, the, how about how the TDF is going. So that's why we believe the application is very useful for the future customers. Thank you for your presentation. Um, it is slightly different from the content itself, but I'd like to ask you about why you put your team name of Seijit. <laughs> <laughs> so we are talking about what, which team name should we pick, and we had like the initial name like H, A kind of thing, but fidelity means kind of similar to Seijitsu in Japanese and I wanted like we wanted to include that concept of fidelity into our team name as well with a with a strong meaning to deliver our presentation. Thank you. Thank you for your question. Thank you for the questions and thank you for the team Seijitsu.